Hello everybody and welcome to Mistakes Were Made. This is a channel that I created to document our family's progress with debt reduction and eventual elimination. Today we are going to do our budget with me for the first pay period of June. So we're looking at June 1st through the 15th. Now one thing that I need to let you guys know we are attacking this a little bit early than we typically do. I try to do these about a couple of days before the end of the pay period. So the pay period we're in right now, May 15th, uh, 16th through the 31st. But um, I have been sick <laughs> all week. It was a very miserable week at work. Um, and so I wanted to get something done. I didn't feel very productive during the week, um, <clears throat> both at work and just around the house. So this is my way of <laughs> making sure that I'm staying on track and getting things completed. I am feeling much better, but the second thing that I'll put out there is if I do happen to be a little bit sniffly, I apologize. Similarly, um, I have been trying to keep my talking to a minimum. So we'll see what a, you know, 15 to 25 ish minute video turns into as far as whether it affects my voice or anything like that. Right now, I'm feeling good. Um, my nose actually feels quite clear. Usually it's either incredibly stuffed or four, after four minutes, it feels like it's going to try and drain. And then four minutes later, it's stuffed again. I did take a nice hot shower. So we're hoping that the effects of that will keep us good at least until we're done here. So without any further ado, I had better get started before whatever good I'm getting from this wears off. So we are going to zoom in and we will start with income. Now, one of the downsides to us starting as early as we are starting um, is that we have not crossed that threshold where my final paycheck for the um, month of, of May has come not necessarily come through, but it's at least showing in the bank account. So we are going to use some other information to make our calculations. However, Mr. M's paycheck did come through and I will be right back because of course, the minute I decide to start filming, the dogs decide they're gonna have a fit. Okay, Mr. Gus was feeling himself and was not pleased that one of our other pups wanted to try and take over his space, which I totally understand. So yeah, we had to uh, <laughs> figure that out. So anyway, um, for Mr. M, his pay is $1,921.61. Now, if you have been following along, you will notice that this is not the 2005 or 2006 dollars that we saw the first pay per paycheck he got after his raise. And of course, then the second one had a bonus involved in it. So we weren't sure where things were going to land. Um, my guess is this 1920 ish dollars is probably going to be the accurate one. And that's what we're going to see going forward. We will, of course, keep our eye out for the next pay period or paycheck that comes through. Now, for mine, because we have not seen it come in yet, we are going to go ahead and use our previous um, pay prior to my promotion of 1977. We do not have any miscellaneous income that we are aware of coming in. And of course, we do not guesstimate what might come in from either of the Etsy shops. The buffer rollover amount is also going to be a little bit of a guesstimate. Again, we use um, spreadsheets. So my spreadsheet is goes out through the end of this year. And so I've got expected <laughs> um, budgets and amounts that will 
uh, be paid out and be coming in for all of those months. Of course, when you're looking out that far in advance, you don't know what might come down the pipeline that you're not expecting. And so those numbers can be considered a little bit volatile because they're not 100% for sure going to happen. But at least for the pay period we are in now, second pay period of May, we are almost done with it. There's still about a week where life can throw some stuff at you and make some um, impacts to your budget and to your plans, but we are going to go with our speculated $200.87. And so let's do some math. And by let's, as in if it being us, it's going to actually be my calculator. So we've got the 1921.61 plus 1977 plus $200.87 for a total of $4,099.48, okay? Now, we, we do already know that this is going to be higher, the paycheck for me. I just am not 100% sure where it's going to land. I have some guesses on where it'll be, but we'll wait and see what the actual paycheck that comes in um, on the 30th or 31st uh, actually shows. So our mortgage is still going to be the 875. And I'm sorry, I do need to cough one moment. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like my shower <laughs> is going to last as long as I was hoping for, at least for the um, purposes of keeping my cold situation at bay. Um, so again, I apologize if I start sniffling or sneezing and coughing and things like that. I will do my best to put things on pause beforehand. And if I miss it, I'll try to, you know, edit those out <clears throat> afterwards. But, you know, some things may slip through the cracks. So be forewarned. Okay, so we are now filling out our typical monthly expenses, which don't t really change very often. Um, I think the biggest change we typically see are a penny here and there. Now that said, the water bill, we got a notification from our, our water board saying that they were going to change over to a every month payment process versus the every other month that we're doing right now. Now they're saying, you know, the benefits are one, if you're being charged every month, then if you have a leak, you might be able to notice that sooner. Okay, I'll give them that. But they're also saying that it should save money and we should see, you know, our bill should be less. I'm not sure how they're figuring that. Well, well, if I'm wrong, I am happy to admit when I am wrong and I will be very, very happy to say, hey, guess what? Our you know, water bill went down significantly now that they've moved to monthly um, invoicing, but I have my doubts. That said, um, we this month, June, is the pay period where the bill is due. So my guess is going to be we will finish out this bill cycle and then we will start seeing the monthly cost next month, so in July. Um, the amount that we have been paying so far was based on just kind of a random water bill that we had received at the time we decided to start paying it on a monthly basis. Uh, so this $121, I don't know if that will stay true. We may see that it'll be less, um, <clears throat> but we're also starting to go into the summer months, which is when we typically use a little bit more water, especially because we are watering the garden. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how things uh, land. Now, these other ones do not get paid during the <clears throat> first pay period. So we will add up 875 for the mortgage, 1549 for Netflix, 1199 
for Kindle. Um, my car insurance is one, no poop, 114.34 plus we've got 121 and then his car insurance is 204.59. 13 42 41 sounds right we're gonna double check that just in case <clears throat> because quite frankly i feel like um i'm a little bit slower since i got sick and <laughs> things that seem like they're right <laughs> i just don't trust them oh my goodness okay yep good so let's make sure you guys can still see that Wonderful. So we are at 13 42 and 41 cents. And then we are going to subtract that. Oops, you can't see. From our total income, 4,099.48, which gives us a negative. We're going to ignore the negative. That leaves $2,757.07. <clears throat> so now we're looking at the savings. We do not do our emergency funding, emergency fund funding during the first pay period. We are going to skip the extra job loss savings because we will do the calculations first. The buffer into the checking account, we will just do the $200. We'll figure out the cents again after we do all the calculations. I know a lot of this, for those of you who have been following along, is a little bit rote. We do the same thing every pay period, uh, but I do appreciate you still watching along. If you are new, welcome. Um, I hope this does become a regular for you as well. And of course, if you have any questions, you're unsure, you know, why we do something a certain way, please shoot your questions down below, consider watching some of our older videos, you know, whatever floats your boat. Um, so we are only going to be using this $200, so we can do that math ourselves because we are smart and capable. <laughs> that leaves us at the $25.5707. Next, we have the cash envelopes. Uh, for those who are new, we do not fund all of the cash envelopes every pay period, and we do break up our budgeting by pay period. So the 1st through the 15th is the first pay period of the month, and then the 16th through the 30th or 31st, depending on which month we're in, um, is the second pay period. So for the first pay period, we do not do triple A, we do not do birthdays, but we do handle car maintenance and it gets $100. We also do Christmas, which gets $12. We, sorry, my arm is itchy. We um, do not do clothing, but we do dining out which gets $50, as does entertainment. Um, these two are items that get refreshed every month. So at the end of June, if there's any money left in here, it will get rolled over into something else. Um, otherwise, you know, it'll just get spent out. We do have other items uh, that we will be coming across. Let me do garden and yard, which gets 25, such as gas, which gets refreshed every pay period. So again, um, at the end of this pay period, the June 1st through 15th pay period, if there's any gas money left, it will get rolled over into some other area. Um, <clears throat> we do not do gifts. Giving gets $5.00. Grocery is another one like the gas. <coughs> Excuse me. That one caught me by surprise. Um, it gets $200 because we currently are budgeting $100 per week for our budget for food. Um, health gets $10. And then household gets $25. And... Then licenses is another one that gets um, paid out each pay period, but it's one that just will roll over, roll over, roll over, and we, accu we will accumulate money in. Um, pets does not get anything this pay period. Prime doesn't get anything. 
taxes does. It is another one that we pay or we fund in both the first and second pay periods. Okay, so let's do some calculating. We've got 100 plus 12 plus 50 plus 50 plus 25 plus 100 plus 5 plus 200 plus 10 plus 25 plus 15 plus 20, which gets us to $612. Now we're going to take our $2,557.07 from there, and that gives us $1,945.07 left. Okay, now we're going to slide on over here to our debt section. So during the first pay period of June, we do not do Discover, but we do do Citibank. So that'll be $400. And then Reflect, which also gets $175. Again, the extra debt payment we'll figure out after we finish the rest of this. And so we are a total of $575 for that. So since we're at a negative, we're just going to add $575. That'll reduce the negative amount. <clears throat> and that leaves us with leftover income of $13.7007. Now I budget $30 of guilt-free money to use. So $30, and we can do the math ourselves and bring that down to $13.4007. Or zero seven, depending on how much of a stickler you are. And then we are currently focusing on junk removal for our long-term goal right now. And that amount is $100 that we are attributing to that. So we can scooch this down over here and 100. And so if we do the math there, we're at $1,240.07 left over. Okay, so now let the fun begin. So we have debt and we have savings. Again, for those who might be new, any money that we have left over in our budget after we've taken care of all of our budgeted amounts of things, we then divvy out between savings and debt. And the reason we do that right now is my job is supposed to be going away. Um, <clears throat> I say supposed to be with a with a laugh because the company I work for went bankrupt in August and we are knocking on a year after that. I did not have any ex expectation that we would still be employed, at least those of us who still are, even into 2024, let alone the possibility that we could be employed an entire full year. I don't know why I said entire and full. Um, an entire year after the event. But, you know, here we are. Now, that said, the feeling right now is we have only been given the official word that we will be working through the end of June. So there's a very real possibility that July will see me unemployed. Um, but there's still also the very real possibility that I may still be carrying on as we have been. So um, it's been a little bit of a stressful situation. Anyway, as a way to prepare, um, we wanted to set money aside to cover the time period I'm unemployed, however long it takes me to find a new job. And we had saved up or plus what I'm expecting to get from severance and PTO payout, uh, six months worth of that. The next plan was if I stayed employed, which we have um, after meeting that goal, 
then we would put everything to debt. But uh, Wiser Minds uh, in the in the comments suggested, let's keep just doing a little bit of savings. So we came up with the plan to do 75% of any extra money goes to debt and 25 goes to savings. So what does that mean um, for this particular budget? We have $1,240.07. We are gonna subtract 75%, which means we are looking at $310 to go to savings. So then we go back to our $1,240.07 and we subtract that 310, which means we would have $930 available to go towards debt. Okay, now the next step is I like to triage this debt even further. We have, as we saw, Let's scooch this back. Um, up here, we still have, we have Citibank, we have Discover and Reflect. Because Discover doesn't get a whole lot of love, and it is our only credit card that actually still has um, interest that gets applied on it, uh, I will triage this a little bit more. I triage it by making whatever amount that is going to go to Citibank is either going to be at a zero, zero, a 25, a 50, or a 75. And what I mean by that is we have $930 here. Um, this actually needs to be zero, zero. And so the closest one is going to be 925, which means we would have $5 to go to Discover. It's not a lot, but every little bit helps. Okay, so let's make some adjustments on here. So we have 310 for our extra savings. We also know now that the buffer that is going to go into the next pay period will be $200.07. And then up here, we've got $930. Yes, you can see that. $930 total with $925 going to Citibank and $5 going to Discover. Okay, we're at almost 25 minutes, so I'll try and keep this uh, a little bit short. Where, where we're at right now with the Citibank debt is... We are at $2,650. I have my speculative spreadsheets that tell me how much I am hoping, assuming nothing goes awry from today through the end of this month, of what the leftovers will be here. I am not going to say what that amount is. We will determine or discover that together um, during our budget recap. But there is a very good reason why I am excited because depending on how much that ends up being, we could very well be able to pay off Citibank with this budget with this pay period. So if we have 2650 is where we're at right now. We've got our budgeted $400. That's up here. This is oops, there it is. This is no matter what, we're going to be paying $400 towards the budget. So let's subtract that out. That brings us to the 2 20 so 2250 we are guessing that we're going to have 925 additional dollars to pay so we will take the 925 and of course all of this is based on the budget going as we have um 
allotted it, that there's no extra costs or unexpected things that come through that can't be covered by uh, cash envelopes and things like that, or extra income coming in from Etsy, which you can't see that I'm circling that area, um, <clears throat> or anything like that. So, um, you know, so there's that. But of course, we also know that my paycheck should be higher than the 1977. So there's a lot of stuff going on that is not very um, tied down. <laughs> but it's still, you know, I think it's important to keep an eye out and kind of get motivation from the what could be's. Um, I find it very motivating to stay on budget, to stick with the plan when I'm looking and seeing, oh, if we don't go over, we could reduce things by this amount. And that means, boom, this is paid off, things like that. So we're going to take 925, which means 1325 is what's what would be left. So... Whatever amount we have here at the end of May, if we, when we do our initial um, deviation, deviation, divvying, there we go. We'll say our initial divvying. If that 75% is $1,325 or more, then city will be paid off, assuming everything gets paid, you know, um, goes properly. That amount can be less with however much more my income is going to be just because of the promotion that I got. So there, there is opportunity, um, again, as I said, for there to be even greater impact. The other piece of things is if we get some additional income from Etsy, you know, that's going to have an impact. Um, depending, and, and this amount, what we have left over for this current pay period, May, is going to be dependent on how well did we stick with our budget? How, did we have any deviations in costs um, that actually came out less than we were expecting? Did we have any income boosts, you know, the same thing, you know, that that affects what we have here now. So this this is going to be the big number. It's going to be very interesting to see. Do we hit this mark um, uh, at the end of May? So stay tuned for for the uh, budget recap to see whether we end up putting ourselves in an excellent position to be able to say goodbye to the debt called Citibank and start focusing even more heavily on either the Reflect or the Discover. And that will be a discussion that we will have during that recap video as well um, because we will need to make the decision if we do manage to pay this off as to how we want to use our funds that snowball process how how are we going to um, activate it on the remaining debt that we have so very exciting very exciting and hopefully by the time we do our recap video i will be feeling much much better i currently have a headache <laughs> I think it's because my nose is starting to activate again. So I am going to put this to a close. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your interest in how we're going about our debt process and watching our progress. I very much get a lot of encouragement from all of you. Um, I appreciate the suggestions. I appreciate the ideas people throw out there. Uh, we may not use them all, as I've mentioned, but it could just be they're not right for where we are in our budget process right now. It may be something that we tuck in the back of our minds and a little bit further down the path, it makes a little bit more sense and it's something that we can uh, utilize. But overall, we're just very grateful that people are interested in what we're doing and are willing to spend their time hearing about 
how things are going with us. So thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next one.